Many people living in a mega city like Hong Kong may think of biodiversity as the birds they hear, the flowers they see while hiking, or the mosquitoes which bother and bite them. However, as scientists, we think of biodiversity on three levels. Firstly, we're interested in the number of species there are. Secondly, their genetic material. And thirdly, the ecosystems which together they form. But why is this biodiversity important? Well, biodiversity provides us with many resources, such as the food we eat, the medicines we use, and the natural habitats we enjoy. Perhaps most importantly, these different levels of biodiversity combine to keep our planet habitable, giving us clean water, breathable air, and maintaining global temperatures and natural cycles. Biodiversity therefore drives the life support system of our planet, and so we need to understand the biodiversity we have in order to keep our planet functioning. Although we know Hong Kong's coasts are incredibly biodiverse, we have more than 25% of all the species recorded in China, for example, we still do not have a complete inventory of our biodiversity. To better document our marine biodiversity, SWIMS has several long-term research projects, one of which is a global project called Marine Geo. Marine Geo is a global network of scientists who are all using the same standardized methods of understanding biodiversity in each of our coastal communities. And what we use is an ARMS, an autonomous reef monitoring structure, which I have here. It's a passive sampler, which means we put it out on the ocean floor and allow organisms to move into it like a little hotel. At the end of a year or so, we go back out and we collect the arms. Everything that we can see by eye, we do our best to identify with visual assessments and DNA. And everything else that's too small, we put into a tube and pull all the DNA out and just look at the DNA to figure out what organisms have settled on it. What we do with this information is to look at patterns of biodiversity around our community, to understand what affects those patterns and what we can do to maintain biodiversity in our coastal marine environments and the services that it provides us. Another key project is a territory-wide study of biodiversity on one of Hong Kong's key ecosystems, rocky shores. Hong Kong's geographic location, just south of the Tropic of Cancer, and varied local geology both create a great variety of rocky shore habitats. But the biodiversity has not yet been properly assessed. We are now compiling a list of the species found across Hong Kong, identifying biodiversity hotspots, and mapping the distribution of ecologically important species to try to understand the factors which shape the diversity on our rocky shores. We are also recording the DNA signature of each species. The results will be accessible to the public as an online GIS database. So, anyone will be able to find online which species are found where in Hong Kong. Once we know what factors are affecting our biodiversity and where it is concentrated, we can protect it better, making sure that despite human pressure and climate change, this biodiversity will sustain a healthy ecosystem and a habitable planet.